What do we have here? What so are we is, tasting? This is another uh, adventure into veggie land. These are veggie sausage links from Morning Star Farms. Hmm. And are these like to be on meat ones? Like are they trying to be meat or are they, they just vegetable sausages? No, they actually seem to say savory herbs and spices. It, it They look like they're presenting themselves as meat. Okay. Even though it says 100% vegetarian, the whole box, um, you know, the, the picture that is portrayed totally says, you know, these are supposed to be uh, like a meat substitute. Yeah. Well, they look like regular sausages, yeah. So, let's see. Yeah. Sausage links. It's okay. Let's see. Let's take a look at them. Look like. Well, they certainly have meat coloring. They're very small. Textured vegetable protein. Well, these do have egg whites. So I guess they're vegetarian but not vegan. Yeah. Nitrate, peroxidine, yeah, colorings, canola oils, potato starches, yeah. And you're supposed to do these in a in a pan. My my concern is that they will stick. How about you? Judging from the ones we've had so far, yeah. There. Smooth coat. They look like sausages. Yeah, yeah, they do look like sausages. They look like actual stuck cased sausages. They do. Nice shiny pan. Well, they passed the sizzle test. They have a nice sizzle. They sound like sausages. Don't they? Yeah, they do. Could be the water on them, so the frozen. Yeah. For 12 to 13 minutes, turning occasionally. Okay. Eighty calories for each serving. Each serving is two links. Of course, we're, we're going to have more than two links. That's not bad, though. I mean, that's way better than. You know, chicken sausages or pork sausages. Yeah. Well, that was a lot better than beef sausages. Half a gram of saturated fat. Total yeah. fat is three grams per serving. Not bad. Quite a lot of sodium though. 300 milligrams of sodium. So that's where they're putting their flavor in. No sugars. That's good. And I don't see uh, corn syrup on, I do see sugar, but I don't see corn syrup on the list of ingredients. Okay. Well, that's good, because putting this high fructose corn syrup and everything is just killing us. No, I mean, Mr. I don't know if they actually, if they're intending on this to be a, like a meat substitute for, you know... Or angry just, carnivores or yeah or just your you know your traditional 
vegetarian veggie burgers, you know. But they seem to make them look like meat, so I can't imagine that they're, you know, they're, they mean them to be much of anything else. Yeah, they're sizzling away nicely. Yeah, they're, they're sticking a bit. Yeah, you're going to have to keep moving those around. Mm. smell like meat. They, they do. do. They really do. That's a very nice smell off them. Mm -hmm. I think we should probably put a lid on them. And turn the heat down? Well, the heat is already up, you know, medium, but we should probably put a lid on them and let them cook. Yeah. See where we are in what five five minutes. Okay. Okay folks, see you back here in five. And we're back again. Let's see. See how we're doing. Very sticky. Very, very sticky. Yeah, I'd say that's and a it, oh, they really they break apart very easily. We might wind up with sausage mush. Uh, lesson learned. Don't leave them sitting in the pan. Yes. This is the only thing about veggie stuff that's very frustrating. Could they solve that? By adding olive oil or something? Too? Well, this does, these do have canola oil. Okay. But. Um, oh, there we go. It's still good. <laughs> I don't know, these might be done. They do look done. Yeah, and they immediately stick again, so. Yeah. Yeah, they actually, they're hot enough to be done. They look nice. They look like meat. That was only like five minutes. Maybe I had them on too high. Yeah. I'm gonna get a couple bowls. Anyway, let's see. Taste test. Smells like sausage. These don't have a gloomy texture mm -hmm. or a gel texture, but they do fall apart a lot easier than meat. Mm -hmm. It's not quite meat, but it is an acceptable substitute. Okay. So it'll be nice. It's definitely like, a difference of meat. The, the herbs come out a lot. Yeah. So, I mean, we're going to, we're making some broth there and we're going to have some uh, instant mashed potatoes and they'll, they should be nice with that, right? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. These are real. Or for your breakfast. Mm. Let's see. You taste. Here we go. Wow, that really does look. Yeah. The smell is amazing. They have the texture, but they're a little softer than sausages. Meat sausages. They're really nice. I like those a lot. Yeah. I like them better than the, the one we tried before. 
before. I can't remember what the name of the it was. The Gardines had a had a, like a chemically taste. Yeah, I know. These they, don't they, have a chemically taste. These, these taste have an, like an, sausage. Like an know? herb sausage. Yeah. An herb pork sausage. Yeah. Is what they taste Pork. Like. Yeah, yeah, they're closer to pork than yeah. anything else. They're not like beef or chicken sausages. They're definitely pork. You know, yeah. Or taste like Excellent. Yeah, thank you. So, definitely cook uh, on a lower temperature. That'll probably keep them from sticking. Yeah. They do taste, uh, these are definite, uh, definite contenders in the meat substitute arena. Good job, oh, yeah. Winning Star. Good job. Yeah, good job. Just to show you again. There we go. Hey, okay, thanks for watching.